something that I really liked about um, IKEA is that they have these these hotspots, and you can see the similarity of the hotspots I already created, even though they're not the same. I'm still missing the animations and stuff, very little details. But what I would like to do now is to see if we can get like this type of uh, rollover effect um, before you click on this button, right? Let's try to rebuild this. So first of all, we need to create a box, a white box, a little drop shadow over that. So let's build that. We go over to a container. Let's put it on the top right. I always like at least a little bit of radius. Uh, yeah, like so. Let's call this uh, hover, uh, hover effect. And a box shadow. Now we need to add in the title. Now, Usually I will go for a label for the title, but sometimes uh, the space is too short and it cuts off. So uh, I start to use the styleable multi-line text more than the label. So I'll just do this. And I put a placeholder and this is for the title. And placeholder is needed because it's a multi-line text. You just can see this. I copy paste this. This is going to be subtitle. And it's going to be this one. So like this. Then I'm going to add. For this one, I'm going to go for a label for the price. Uh, that's not going to be that much longer. So something like this. And what I would like to do is I would like to hide this hover effect by default. I'll just add a hide on start effect. And then on the main viewer, on this station, hide, hide on start. Okay, so now we have this. Now what we need to do is we need to create, ex besides having this rollover effect, we need to roll over, show this placeholder. So I added extra tag here, product hover. Because uh, I like to work with tags in case I would later add extra things to it that I would want to do like and add that. So go over here. Uh, and then say okay on this this first one let's say actions show at components on roll over show small fade product hover okay on roll over show product hover done and roll out of this one with the line so just Copy this, paste it, and say roll out height. Okay, let's preview this. All right, great. So we got that set up. Let's also do that for the other hotspots. Copy, paste, paste. Copy, paste, paste. All right, let's preview. Cool. So that's working. Now we need to change the content, obviously. So, I mean, I've already set up this, but I would like to uh, have the title, this love t-shirt and the desc uh, description and uh, the price uh, on as well the product click pop-up thing, as well as the rollover. So um, that shows there. So I'm going to change the triggers. So right now 
we've triggered it on click. Um, now we also need to trigger this on rollover. So um, we could probably just only do that and even remove the click action. And I'll just have it done two times. Uh, action, execute JavaScript. This is number one. And instead of an on click, we say an on roll rollover, trigger this record. Okay. Can copy this, paste it over here, change the number, do that here as well. Change the number. Okay, great. Preview. And we'll see that it still doesn't work, but at least we've set up the triggers. So it should be now at least getting there. So the only thing that is left to do is that we need to make sure that skin CMS is going to recognize hover title as well as the product title multi-line. So I'll show you that. So here's the mapping, save and connect. Um, and so right now we've got this set to product title multi-line, right? This one. And we also want it to uh, go to hover title. What we do is we just put in a comma, hover title. And the same with this one, comma, hover, subtitle. And the same with the price. Comma, hover, price. We hit save mapping. We go back to the last preview. Refresh this one and watch this going. So now we've got the hover effects with the prices changing, descriptions, everything. And we can click on it as well. So now we have this as well with the buttons. And this is how cool it is using Skin CMS that we can use the same title on two places on the roll over effect as well as on the click effect. Maybe instead of having it on the top right, uh, it's better to have it in the top center and have everything centered there. So let's try that out. Go to the hover effect. Uh, say, okay, let's put this 20 by 20, something like this. Let's uh, put all of this in the center. Just like this this one in the center and preview this all right so that's better but still i mean right now it's, it's too big and by using the percentages on both sides uh equally whether it's 20 20 0 0 10 10 uh, 30 30 um, this way you always make sure that it's centered but now what we need to do is make sure that the width is not going to be that at large, right? So let's set the maximum width uh, to 300 pixels. I preview this. All right, starting to look better. Maybe the same with the height as well. Let's put the height to 250 or maybe 200. All right. So here we go. Um, now let's say that we want to change the this product pop up a little bit more. And we can just Go over here, uh, make sure that uh, it's not with the left, but with the center, that's going to help a lot. Let's preview this already. We click on it, and now it's centered. So it's already much better this way. Um, Let 
let's put things a little bit more in the style of Wim Hof. So use the color picker. That's the color code, add the styles. I don't like the base color codes in here, so I'm just typing it over. Okay, like that. Uh, let's change the styles a little bit more of the wrapper. I think pen is more than enough. Okay, so here we go. We've got more in the colors of um, Wim Hof. Now, the only thing we need to add is when we click on it, then it also needs to hide. I mean, now if I move with my mouse, it's going to hide, but that's not so nice, right? So we just go to panoramas. So we need to add an action and uh, say show hide components. And then we say product hover, on click, hide product hover, like so, preview. So click now, okay, and now it's hidden as we click on it. So this is much better. And now we just copy paste this action. Copy, paste, paste on all the others as well, so that it's fine tuned. All right, it's looking good. That's I hope you've uh, learned something in this video uh, and that you found this stuff helpful. If you like to continue, if you like what you see and you want to get started with SkinCMS, you can go to skincms.com slash pricing and you can buy mappings. Now, if you have up to like 25 products, for example, uh, not 25 t-shirts to sell, then uh, the small mapping is, is more than enough for your project. Um, and if you have more than that, you are going to need the standard mapping up to 100 rapids. Uh, and if you need even more than that, you can just contact us. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Like the video, subscribe, and register for our newsletter um, on 360 slash newsletter. And have a great day. All right. See you. Bye bye.